it's weird because them say my grades is easy. You know, all the way I made a piece of go, man, get them some there, you know, believe you me. But them say, man, get it too. And it look like it reach a level, you know, it reach a level. We went come forward. I make us up this truth, make us up this truth, I can't. All right, so, vibes can't tell, I can't tell the reporter, say, him have a disease eh, from a longer time, and it'll get worse. Well, obviously, it will get worse because... In a them place there, eh, a hell, me I tell you. Them place there, eh, no good for you, man, be, no care where you do. Because if you are going to really tell a man say I'm guilty or something, and you're not going to hang him, you're going to keep him alive. You're not supposed to keep him alive in a situation where living is not worth living. I better you just hang him. Because when I want to say, you know, we're done with the hanging, I can't do it. But yet, you put man in a damn place there. Eh? In a damn place there. Eh? You're not human enough to be human, man. I mean, I talk about just the vibes cartel. At the whole prison, where the people them there, where the you them there. You know, every, uh, you know how much time people are calling me from the cell? And I tell me this and I tell me that. And how the water them treat the man, them and all them someday. You tell me, say, true, a man in a prison. Him is less than a human being. No, Rata. No, this person, you know. Him have a disease where any how it stay, how it stay, you know. And the situation, the environment where I'm in, uh, it's going to be more problems and more problems. I tell the government, say, I mean, I put none for them, but I tell the government, say, we no better pray. Mr. Wallis, Mr. Wemnim, we don't want them, Mark Golden, and all the ones them surround him. A whole heap of people, not into Vibes Cartel. But it's the people them who go into Vice Cartel and know, say, he must serve a time. Them never say, for hang him, he must serve a time in a prison like everybody else. Nobody's not supposed to go through where he must go through this. All. And we know other people dead in a prison too. A whole lot of people dead in a prison, but we don't hear about them. But we don't say, true. We hear about him now and other people dead in a prison, therefore, we're not about our business with this. It showed the inhumane treatment of the system. You can't have a man in a prison. And you say you're going to lock him up for how much years. And then you turn around now and I slow poison him. I, slow, I slowly but surely I try to kill him. Where the humanity there? Where, 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 the, where, where, the, where the heart there? Where the soul there? I mean, through, through a man found guilty of murder now, you can't have no soul. Then if you don't have no soul for a man we have we commit murder, you don't keep it up, go hang him, Rasa. So if you say, hang him done with, and you put him in a prison, you're supposed to make sure it's him done dead. You're supposed to make sure it's him done dead. Welcome to the channel. I am the Jamaican Scoop Diva. Now, Mota Baruka has a lot to say as it regards to the matter of a vibes cartel who is suffering grave diseases and two alleged heart diseases in prison while under a 23-hour lockdown in a poorly ventilated room. Now, according to Mota Baruka, he understands that the justice system has prisons who scold or try to punish persons to do who have done crimes. Now, in the case of vibes cartel, he is basically, as according to him, being quote unquote slow poisoned. And he's saying it is a bit unfair. If you charge someone or you, you find them to be guilty of a crime and you decide not to hang them, why then you put him in the system or in a prison cell and have him suffer like this? 
it is a human right to be treated not like an animal. And so he's saying if the government decides to put him in the system and he's guilty, yes, he is serving his time like every other inmate. Why then put him in a position for him to die? And he's saying basically that the system is basically like hell. And if you are going to torture a person like that, you, you decide that you're going to have him in prison. You decide that he's going to stay in prison. Why torture him? If you are going to torture him like that, might as well you end him, so to speak. Might as well you off him because don't let him be tortured like that. And so he's saying that this justice system needs to be amended because it is not fair for people to be treated like that. And he is not the only person in the prison system. Look at it. You could have an innocent person because sometimes that happens and we know based off our history in Jamaica, a lot of persons go to prison who are innocent. Sometimes they're being freed, framed, sorry, and sometimes there's a flaw in the justice system. A couple of years ago, there was a man who was found guilty of a spliff and he was in there for about 50 years. And when he came out of prison, he was basically, I don't, I don't want to say a lunatic, but he was very ill. He couldn't speak. He had lost his speech and he was illegal. He was he was unjustfully sentenced to prison. He was innocent. So can you imagine an innocent person going through these things? And I'm not saying Babs Cartel is innocent, but look at it. It is it is very harsh and it's very inhumane. And so he is just requesting that this man get some help because he is of my also opinion that they are trying to get him out. Uh, we understand, brother. Yeah, yeah, I don't understand you. I'm, not, I'm only there to watch me down fall, brother. What the fuck someone in there for uplift me, brother? Eh? Hmm? What the fuck on the day? No, you know what on the day? On the day? For call my poor kid charge, you hear that? On the day? For talk this and talk that. And make you look like say man for the team, medicine. Oh my god. The whole arm of the suck on the mama you. The whole arm of the suck on the mother dog. No one was the upliftment you. No one was the upliftment dog. You would. You would. You would. You would. You would. You would. Dog, on the nap. Alright, dog. Dog. You. A pain, you would. Oh, you know. Dog, who never know when I put my chew, dog? Hey, 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 dog, dog, more earth in him, more earth in him, dog. Show my life, brother. I just happen to see you know, my project, them, show my music, them, all them things that charge you. What the fuck can you give me back, dog? Bad man, I'm paid. You mean to the charge you? You mean to the bro? You mean to the charge you? Don't give me you to the tech family now, Dad. No, I'm up nothing. No, I'm up nothing in life, you. They have, they have life. They have life, you. Oh, fuck that, Dad. They have life, you. No, King Tavi is a popular comedian and he's very talented. No, it is rumored that he has been a ghost writer for Tommy Lee. No, there has been a video circulating in the media with King Tavi behaving what I would call abnormal. It seems like he was or he is suffering some kind of a mental health disorder and he was speaking quite irrational. Now, what I got from the video is that he said that he has been struggling for a while now and he has been treated 
he has been treated unfairly and persons around him who are aware that he has been treated unfairly are basically making a mockery of him or they are laughing at him and so he wants what i would call revenge and he's going to k-i-l-l them now there are two important things i think if he is mentally not well and he's making a threat sometimes when a person of what we call unsound mind makes a threat i think it needs to be taken seriously because we can establish because of their mental health they're not thinking or they're not thinking or speaking coherently and they're not thinking with common sense and so they will irrationally act out on that threat so i think we need to be careful of that the next thing that we need to be careful of is protecting him so we want to protect him from himself and we want to protect him and see if he can get some help in jamaica mental health is shut up and oh yeah man man i am a girl but it is important that we protect these kinds of people because he is lost and when he referred to the fact that he wrote songs allegedly or he go he had ghost written songs allegedly for tamley and not get his pay or he wasn't compensated things like this can break a person because if someone had the opportunity to make some good money and had the opportunity to get their big breakthrough look at it a lot of comedians are musically talented and are using the fame from the comedian lifestyle or the comedian craft to come over into the music industry we have seen dino crazy do it crazy do it um Travis did it and now we have one ski mask which is Voldemort and they're doing well so they paved a way for for themselves and they have reached where they are so if King Tavi, Tavi was um robbed of his opportunity some people are not strong-minded enough to look and realize that they were robbed of a golden opportunity and still mentally be strong some people are some people will break and so um prayers up for King Tavi um i don't know if it's a mental illness fully or it was just a one-off thing but we need to keep an eye out now there seems to be an unfortunate trend that some of our jamaican musicians producers and artists fall into and that seems to be when they do music after a while they go over and live a life filled with crimi criminal activities no ex jamaican policeman and dance and music producer omar miller more popularly known as miller nine is facing a possible death penalty in the united states for the murder -E of raymond alcala alongside fellow jamaican 38 year old andre andrews and third party 37 year old devon quinland Prior to his participation in the MURDER of Alka, Alkalka, Miller, 45 years old, was also involved in a MURDER case while still in Jamaica back in 2007, but was freed of the charges in 2011. Andrews, who was also the athlete while he attended JC, along with Miller and Quillan, will appear before the court for a pretrial and arraignment next week, Friday. In accordance with the California state law, which says the MURDER can be subjected to the DEATH penalty, the prosecutors on the case are reported to be asking, seeking such penalties. Now, in the same time that this is happening, the Corporate Communication Unit, the information unit of the JCF, Jamaica Constabulary Force, has confirmed that dancehall reggae artist Ruffian was remanded when she appeared in the St. Catherine Parish Court earlier this week. The DJ answered a battery of charges, including being in possession of a prohibited weapon, unauthorized possession of ammunition and possessions and dealing in ganja. The DJ's co-accused Daniel Gosmore was granted bail and of course we know of Kemar Haikon who was charged with Grand Theft Auto though I don't personally don't know a lot of um ruffian songs but I know she's an artist and I know I've watched her on tv before so I know she's quite popular that means she might have made a good bit of money from music I know Kemar Haikon had a big deal with Digicel um he had songs that were trending and of course, Miller 9 has a good amount of hits underneath his belt. Why these musicians turn to criminal activities, I don't know. Like I said, it could be a dancehall curse. It could be when they're in the high moment of being popular and the career is not so hot. 
they feel compelled to maintain the lifestyle and so they try to maintain the lifestyle by uh, any means necessary thus they are convinced to do criminal things and that will get them into trouble like how they're all in trouble no let me tell you once again, I commend Popcorn for purchasing that big expensive um, excavator because at least, God forbid, if his career doesn't work out, he'll be able to make something out of himself otherwise because it seems like the pressure of maintaining a lifestyle of hype and popularity forces these kinds of artists or musicians to do criminal things out of desperation. I don't know. You could tell me in the comments what you think. This is the Jamaican Scoop Diva. Please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave your comments below. Please take care of yourselves.